This really convicted me, and I am so guilty of this. Andrea. You look good. You look good. Alright, take off your hat. Jacket. We are sort of late, not that late. Hey Ale, we made it. Thank you God. Thanks to Freddie, my husband. He carried her to the car. Usually he's not awake around this time because he stays with the baby all night. So thank God for that. I know babe, I know. So she is seems kind of moody. All right, I'm gonna put some yippee. Bible songs. I'm just gonna say a little prayer before we leave. God, for this beautiful morning, this is our past. Guide us, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. So, brothers, in whatever condition each was called, there let him remain with God. God's will in this age is that his people be scattered like salt and light in all legitimate vocations. I just dropped off Ale. I just got home. I wanted to share something with you guys, but I got like 4% of battery. So if I can share this right now, good. If not, I will continue it at home. Okay, so yesterday's verse of the day in the Bible app, if you guys don't know, I'll link it down below. If you guys want it, this is the one that I use every day and it's free. So if you don't know, now you know so yesterday's bible verse was remember it is sin to know what you ought to do and then not do it that's the nlt usually i do the esv but today i have it sometimes i switch back from esv to nlt i like to compare versions actually i read the whole chapter only because i think it's important for us to read the whole chapter not just the bible verse just to see it in context and get a better idea of what it actually means so i'm going to read a paragraph before that verse and it says look here you who say today or tomorrow we are going to a certain town and will stay there a year we will do business there and make a profit how do you know what your life will be like tomorrow? Your life is like the morning fog. It's here a little while and then it's gone. What you ought to say is, if the Lord wants us to, we will live and do this or that. Otherwise, you are boasting about your own pretentious plans and all such boasting is evil. Remember, it is sin to know what you ought to do and then not to do it. And that's from James verse 13 to verse 17. So I wanted to share that because this really convicted me today. I wasn't sure if I wanted to vlog today, but I was like, 
like, you know what? The past two days, my morning routines went so well that I think I could do it today. So I picked up the camera, but of course the morning started and everything was go, 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 go this morning, trying to do everything plus vlog. So it's like the added pressure was definitely having me run around like a chicken with its head cut off. That was me today. <laughs> I was just trying to make it on time to school because I do not like being late, but of course we were late today. Usually when I'm driving back home, that's when I actually have time to myself to actually listen to a devotional as you saw and just to kind of be still and just listen to God and what he has to say to me today and just have a conversation with God. I was just telling him like, God, I don't know if I'm supposed to be doing this. I was literally about to quit in the middle of this because I was just not feeling good. Like I said, I did not get the best night's sleep, but I was just like, let me just keep going and see what comes out of this. The more I kept going, the more I just felt like everything was just like things were all over the place. And then I was just like, God, but I don't, I don't know if this is what you want me to do. And that's when I remembered yesterday's Bible verse. In that moment, I just like got convicted. You know, I had this plan to vlog i could have just committed my plans to him there's a bible verse that says from proverbs it says commit to the lord your work and he will establish your plans um i think that's how it goes yesterday as i read this i usually go into a commentary it's called the enduring word if you don't have that it's another app that's free and the commentary it was explaining the bible verse a little bit further and it said it is nothing but sheer arrogance that makes us think that we can live and move and have our being independent of god this boastful arrogance is the essence of sin a proud independence the root of all sin as was the case with lucifer and then it says james knows that it is far easier to think about and talk about humility and dependence on god than it is to live it Oof. when i read that that was so convicting yet he makes the mind of god plain as we know these things we are accountable to do them and then it goes on this commentary is so good as i read it yesterday i was like god i don't do this often enough like i don't do this all the time and i am so guilty of this today is proof of that today is definitely proof of that so i'm gonna keep this vlog i'm gonna keep this morning routine however it looks it may not look perfect it may look messy but that's okay you know i think it's important to share how god humbles me how god humbles me on a day-to-day -day basis in everything guys we need to say god willing the, these are my plans even if we're not thinking that to be like we're not purposely thinking about being arrogant it's not like i'm purposely thinking about, about being arrogant but that's why i commit the sin because i'm not thinking i'm not actually like intentionally giving up my plans to god which i should every day like who am i to know what's actually gonna happen you know who, who am i to be like well this day i'm gonna do this and it's gonna come out perfect no it's not gonna happen that way jack if god wills it this video will come to light this is my morning routine i have a whole mess waiting in there for me there's a lot of morning routines out there that definitely make me feel like i don't have it together like they do <laughs> if you feel that way when you watch morning routines i am right there with you like let me just say some of the morning routines i don't know guys they're too aesthetically pleasing it just makes me question at least mine isn't aesthetically pleasing i don't know if you find it aesthetically pleasing but i don't have it together i'm gonna head back in but i wanted to share that with you guys i just didn't want this to just be any morning routine i want it to be purposeful and hopefully that is either convicting or encouraging to you guys that as the commentary said to do the things that we ought to do i'm gonna go ahead and get a workout in hospital i was having trouble finding my way finding some time in the morning to do me in terms of 
getting a workout in, preparing some really good food for myself. In terms of taking care of my body, I feel like this week I'm finally getting a handle on this medicine regimen. The morning routines have been going a lot smoother than before, although today, not the case, but that's okay because I'm vlogging. Since the mornings have been going a lot smoother, it's been a lot more efficient with time, so that's why now I am able to get a workout in. It feels so much better. I just feel like it does all the right things for my body, my mind. Just, there's like nobody here just me and God. Sometimes I'm praying to him, sometimes I'm listening to something, a sermon. Right now I'm just watching somebody's monthly reset because I like watching those. Do you guys like watching those? But yeah, for the most part, I like watching, I like listening to things that will, that will teach me something, that will nurture my mind, my soul. I also like watching other YouTubers' workout routines because that also gives me motivation. I'm gonna continue to do the rest of my sets. got done Ale's meds here is what they look like she has a lot and I'm also using here let me show you I wanted to show you guys this I've been using this system forever now it's really helpful I actually pulled it out the other day because I like I was telling you before I've been having a lot of trouble keeping this in my head so this is called the napkin system I will not take credit for this this is from Ale's ex night nurse and basically it's just a napkin now it looks dingy and that's why we use the napkin because this is where we put this is for 2 p.m. 4 p.m. 6 p.m. and 8 p.m. It's basically it just lists out in each quadrant it just lists out what is needed so for example for 2 p.m. I have 35 ml water flush and then a 1 ml propanol that's for her heart for 4 p.m. she has a water flush 6 p.m. water flush 8 p.m. Uh, water flush propanol and dirol these go here I'm missing a syringe as you can see the napkin does get pretty dirty because we're dealing with meds and water flushes that's why we use a napkin. I have a morning one, I have an afternoon one, and I have a night one. But I feel like it's gonna be more practical if I actually do it on the computer. If it gets dirty, I'll just print out a new one. Instead of having me do it all over again, I know it's still a waste of paper. Maybe I'll put like a laminate on it. That way it's reusable, right? Seems more practical. So anyway, I'm gonna get started on breakfast. I am running late. I had planned to upload a video for YouTube, so we'll see if that will happen. But for right now, I'm going to prepare my breakfast. And this is my favorite part of the day because I feel like this is the time where nobody's here, everybody's out doing their errands, and I just get to be here drinking my cafecito, eating my breakfast, and reading my devotional, and just having a really wholesome, healthy time to nurture my body, nurture my mind and it's all about the nurturing what you're feeding yourself sunny side up eggs with spinach and papaya toast with butter and bananas that's what I'm loving these days and then I also have a devotional that was gifted to me now after all of that it's time to clean up Ale's room because it is a mess my goal is to be able to tidy up this room before we leave but one thing at a time i just got used to the new med reg regimen i don't think i'm gonna have time to shower before i go pick her up because of the whole vlogging thing but that's okay like i'm gonna have to go sweaty oh well who's gonna know right <laughs> except you guys Trying to catch my breath. 
it is editing time finally this is where i do my editing obviously there is a big mess here but i do not have time to clean this up right now and truth be told it always looks like this just because i have way too many things here it's not even funny like i need an actual desk with drawers so that i can hide all of this because this is sort of organized it's just all out in the open anyway that's besides the fact usually i get to this part way earlier in the day I forgot that i had to lower my expectations when i'm vlogging a morning routine because it's never on time i have about an hour and a half before i have to pick up ale so let's get to work time is up yes it's done okay upload this all right video published i felt so horrible about that i don't always get it perfect i don't always give myself grace i am really hard on myself sometimes and i always feel like i'm not doing okay so you guys can see me because i do not see you on the viewfinder <sighs> i'm like 10 11 minutes late but I'm not gonna be late. I usually give myself a good 30 minute window. Sorry, you guys are falling. Let's go pick up Ali. On my phone now, because it's easier as I'm driving. I hope you guys enjoyed this morning routine. It's probably not as aesthetically pleasing as other morning routines, but that's okay, because this is real life. This is a special needs mom's life, and it's anything but perfect. I'm gonna end the vlog right here. Thanks so much for watching. Love you guys. I will talk to you on the next one. Bye. Missed you. You ready to go home? You want some munchkins? I decided to treat ourselves to some munchkins. I usually do this, but today is the day.